Good morning, boys and girls. So, what do you think of my new hat? Do you like it? Do you think it's fancy? It's pretty strange looking, isn't it? I might wear this hat maybe one time and get away with it, right? I could wear it and nobody would say anything. But if I wore this hat all the time, you might think that I was strange. Maybe stranger than you already thought I was, right? My family might become concerned about me. What do you think would happen if I wore this for like a week? What do you think? I think I know what would happen. My family would probably sit me down and have a long talk with me about how this hat is really weird and they would ask me if something was the matter with me. They would probably suggest that I get some help and go talk to somebody or they would think something was wrong with me or that I was having a problem, right? Even though I like my new hat, it's pretty comfortable. Um, I'm gonna take it off, okay? <laughs> I wanna tell you a story about someone else who did something that made his family very concerned. They wanted to have a talk with him also. And this person was Jesus. Can you believe that? When Jesus started his ministry, he began going from place to place and he was healing people. He soon became so popular that people followed him everywhere he went. His family soon became very concerned with this. They went and they tried to have a talk with him. He was in a house and someone told him, your mother and your brothers and your sisters are outside and they're asking about you. They were really, really worried about him. They didn't understand his mission from God. And here's how people, here's how Jesus replied to them. He said, here are my brothers and sisters. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and my sister and my mother. That's kind of weird, right? But what Jesus was saying and wanted everyone to know is that our families are larger than we think. He was saying that anybody who believes in God is your brother or sister. This week, I want you to think about this. We all have families that we come to church with but you are also part of God's larger family. God's family members are those around you this morning in church, and all people who believe in him are your brothers and sisters in Christ. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for giving us a family. Thank you also for our church family. Help us to share your love with others so that our family can grow even bigger. In your name we pray. Amen.